Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial and today it's on how to create a modded server using the Curse or Twitch launcher. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel. This is where you control everything to do with your server. There's so much you can do here, but we are going to head into the installer section on the left. So if we click this, this will allow us to browse and install different mods and game versions. As you know, we usually use the most updated version of Spigot when doing our plugin tutorials, although we could use Craft Bucket. But if we have a look down, you can see there is a ton of different mods that you can install for your server. So if we go all the way down to Curse, down here on the right, if we click this, this will allow us to browse all of the mod packs that work with the Twitch launcher. So what we can do, we can just have a look and see which one takes our fancy. So um, the one I was looking at the other day was the astronomy one, which sounds pretty cool going into space and different planets. So if we go ahead and type that in, you can see there are two different versions. Let's go ahead and get the second version. So what we're going to do, we're going to click versions and that's going to take us to the next page and then we can pick which one we want. Obviously we're going to go for the one that's the most updated. So the 28th of December 2018, let's click install. And what we can do here is choose the Java version. So I'd recommend eight as that's the version that works for me. And you can have a new world. So let's just call it uh, no space. Then click install and this will install the mod to your server. It might take a few minutes, but um, you will see lots of things downloading, etc. Uh, so you need all of this. And while this is happening, let's go ahead and get the Twitch launcher. So here we are on mclauncher.com and this will allow us to download the launcher that allows us to use the mod. So if we scroll down, we can see that the installation part here is all you need to do is click the blue download button and that will go ahead and take you to the download page. I'll leave a link to this in the description as well as anything else that you'll need and just click download and it will download the Twitch app. So let's go ahead and go into that now once we've installed it and see what we need to do in there. So here we are opening up the Twitch app and as you can see, you can see all of your favorite streamers here. But if we go to the mod section up at the top left, once we've logged in, we will see that we have Minecraft. So if we go into this, we can click install. Uh, there's a few things you need to download prior to choosing your mod. And then we need to go to browse all mod packs. Now this will browse all of the same ones that we saw on the server mining website. There it is, we can see that this is the mod that we installed into our server and we can see when it was updated, the game version and how many downloads it has. So go ahead and click install. And this will take quite a while, it will download everything you need for the mod to work. And while this is happening, uh, you should probably go up to your settings for Twitch. So go down to Minecraft, scroll down to the Java version. Make sure you're using Java 8 rather than Java 9 or 10. So it did not work for me when I use 9. Make sure it uses 8 and you should be good. And then maximum memory allocation, make sure that is quite high. When I had it on 2000, it did not work for me. So I put it up to 6000 and it works fine. So once it's downloaded, we can go ahead and go to my mod packs and it will say here that you can click play and it will start. So let's go ahead and go to our server minor control panel. And as you can see, it is currently running Space Astronomy 2 and there is the version. And obviously we could change it back to normal if we wanted to. So now that we've done that, we are going to go back to the Twitch launcher, click play, and we are going to hop on my server. So it will open up a new Java window and you're going to obviously have to log in again. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that we've logged in, we can go ahead and click play. And then we need to download a few small things before Minecraft actually opens. Now, once it's opened, it will load a lot of different things. And with the power of video editing, I can make this go very, very quickly. So you don't have to watch 10 minutes of this. Uh, so it might take five to 10 minutes for you guys. And once this is all done, you can see we are on the Space Astronomy 2 page. You can go into single player, you can go to multiplayer options, the normal Minecraft page and of course we are going to jump straight into multiplayer to join the server that we've created and let's go ahead and click add new server and we're going to join my server so videotutorials.serverminer.com and once we've done that we can go ahead and test join it so we might get a slightly longer loading screen uh, than we do usually as it has to load a lot of things 
And there we go, so we are in. We have loads of new items. We have some information in the bottom right hand corner and in the top corner we have a map as well. So this is the mod. Obviously you can go ahead and play around with this for yourself. Uh, but it's really huge. Loads of different uh, planets you can go to and loads of different new items. Uh, and that's pretty much how you do it. So you can download this mod, uh, a different mod, or whatever you want. It's very simple. Um, so all of the links that you will need will be in the description down below. If you need a server to host this on, make sure you check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you in the next video.